Welcome back. This is Rito here with another Terraria Calamity Let's Play episode. We are playing as Silas the Summoner, and last episode we defeated the Perforators, and this episode we've got a whole bunch of stuff to do. We've got Skeletron, we've got the Queen Bee, we've got a bunch of Aerolite upgrades we can do, and in this playthrough we're only using summons, and we are playing on death mode. It's been pretty tricky so far, but also a ton of fun. Well, I hope you all are having a great day. I've actually had a really great day myself. I woke up early and worked out. I've been doing a lot more physical fitness stuff, which has been nice. I've got some equipment in my office, like I have a pull-up bar and a few weights and stuff. Not too much, but just a little bit to keep myself active and healthy. I also started riding a bike again recently. I hadn't done that really consistently since I was a kid and so it's been really fun to get back into bike riding and uh, just ride around the neighborhood and have some fun with it. Ooh, I see a special treasure over there. I think that's one of the like little shrines. I'm excited. We gotta go get that and see what it is. So we have a precise fungal symbiote. I think that's how you pronounce it. Various melee weapons emit mushrooms in true melee range. True melee strikes deal 15% more damage. One of these days, I want to try true melee. I'm not 100% sure when or how, but maybe if I do that, I would do it on Revengeance. I don't know if I would want to do true melee on Malice or on Death Mode. That could be a little bit too much. When I play Terraria, I like to be challenged, but up to a certain extent, I've not found too much enjoyment at making it challenging past the point of like you know death mode challenging i feel like this is like the perfect amount of challenge although i am tempted to try malice mode at some point um, i don't know if i want to do it as a summoner but maybe later i want to do like a melee playthrough because i've still not done a melee series on calamity so maybe i can do like an actual just normal melee or just like swords only and do maybe malice mode i don't know that could be kind of fun, but I'll have to think about it and potentially do some more research. There's a lot of playthroughs that I want to do, but with every one of these, it takes a ton of time. So we'll just have to see where I land on those ideas. Aerialite bars. Yeah, I think we probably have enough. So we've got 63. It looks like there might not be a summon for the Aerialite tier, but we can craft a summoner armor set. And then of course we've got the harpy ring and the skyline wings. Those are pretty sweet. So the only thing we're missing, I think, are rain clouds, which I hope this gentleman will sell. And he does, perfect. So now let's go ahead and craft our arrow spec. Oh, it looks like we might be low on feathers actually. So let's just wait around for some harpies to spawn. I guess we can always just explore some of these areas. Oh, a water chest. Oh, that's actually cool. A diving helmet. A diving helmet's actually pretty important for this mod since you have to craft all the abyssal diving equipment. So much tungsten. I bet this could build a full armor set. Well, now that we've got some more feathers, we are able to craft the last part of our aerospec armor. And there's likely some accessories we can craft at this point as well. Like the harpy ring could be nice. I don't think we need it just yet, but it does help later on in the game. We can craft our diving gear now that we have flippers and that diving helmet. And then we can do the jellyfish diving gear with a jellyfish necklace and the diving gear. And I went ahead and bought the ice skates from the Tinker NPC. I think you can also craft ice skates, so I probably didn't need to do that. But anyways, we can do the Arctic diving gear as well. And that will just be something to assist us in the abyss a little bit. We'll be doing the Abyss pretty soon, once we finish the dungeon. We've got 33 defense right now, and we went up to 38. The set bonus says 11% increased minion damage and plus one max minion. Summons a Valkyrie to protect you. Oh, cool. That's the Valkyrie. And taking over 25 damage in one hit causes a spread of homing feathers to fall. Allows you to fall more quickly and disables fall damage. So I think it is definitely time to fight the Queen Bee. I just need to find a hive. I think there's one right over here. And once we have a hive, we can use a jungle teleporter. They're a little bit pricey at this point in the game, but they'll allow us to go right up to the surface. 
And then we can fight the Queen Bee at the surface, which will save us from having to do an arena down here. Um, I've not seen the larva though. Oh, the larva's under the honey. So she's used our teleporter, and the Queen Bee's going to come to us very quickly. I hope she's not enraged on the surface. I usually consider myself pretty good at this fight, but I think the immunity frames from the Shield of Cthulhu Dash have been removed, so I'm not sure if I'll be as good as I used to be. Oh, I did get a, an immunity frame right there. Maybe it just wasn't working on the uh, specific boss I was fighting. Oh, I forgot. We can put this in the arena. Oh my gosh, the damage. <laughs> she does so much damage. Oh no, oh no. This is insane. The Shield of Cthulhu Dash is so critical on this fight. Okay, we're not gonna win. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that was such a crazy fight. I really like the Queen Bee. I just need to get a little bit cleaner with my dodges and then I think we're good to go. Okay, let's do this again. Oh no, gotta heal. No! It's doing so many dashes. Oh my gosh, so many dashes. <laughs> stop, B, stop. Stop it. No! Oh my gosh, we beat the Queen Bee. We beat her at the last second. Okay, that was not the cleanest fight. Surprisingly, I did win it though. <laughs> yeah, I messed up a few times on that fight, but we did beat her. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> yes, we beat the Queen Bee and I'm pretty darn sure that was enraged because that was dang tricky. I know this sounds crazy, but I'm having such a good time fighting the Queen Bee right now. I kind of want to do a cleaner fight and see if I can just beat her a little bit better. So let's give it another try.
There we go. That's a definitive win. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> yes, we did it. Honestly, that was some of the most fun I've had in a video game for a while. I love the queen bee fight, and that was so challenging. Okay, so we can craft this hornet staff. I don't even think I'm going to really bother using it. It's one of these. It's probably worse than our imp, and our imp is pretty weak compared to some of our other stuff. One other thing I really like about the new magic storage is that you can break down weapon types as well as accessories versus armor. It's quite handy. I just remembered we needed to go get a meteorite so we could craft a new summon. That might have been helpful against that last boss. And here we go. Meteorites. Go ahead and break all of those real quick. Grab as much as we can. Awesome. So we'll go ahead and craft a whole bunch of this. We'll leave a little bit of meteorite ore. I don't know if we need that for anything. Oh, it says you don't have sufficient knowledge to create this. I was wondering because we've got all the ingredients. So we need to decipher some sort of schematic. Well, I couldn't quite figure out how to craft that item, so I may get that a little bit later. Instead, let's go ahead and fight Skeletron. Maybe we'll target one of the hands, try to defeat that one first. Such a fun fight. Skeletron with four arms, shooting lasers at us. One thing I can do is put that down. It's not going to add that much DPS, but it's worth using. Oh dear, I just took so many hits. Here's the arena, by the way. It's just a simple few platform arena. I don't like putting the platforms too close together because I find falling is an effective dodge mechanism for this boss. The main thing with this boss that I always worry about is doing it during the night and not running out of time. Well, we got the rage going. Almost got all the hands. Let's try to destroy this last one. So as long as we don't get hit by the center skull, we should be fine. We are getting some health back from our fungal clump. This is a pretty sloppy fight to be honest, but it'll work. As long as we defeat him, I am happy. Oh no. Oh dear, we might not defeat him. It has been a long time since I've failed at defeating Skeletron on the first try, even in death mode. Okay, there we go. Oh man, oh no. Focus, focus, focus. It's when he comes dashing from across the screen with all of his hands. It's pretty tricky. Ooh, there we go. That was way too close for comfort. Oh no, we're dead. Oh, we didn't die. What? We did die, <laughs> but we did defeat him. <laughs> that was the weirdest ending of a boss fight ever. He teleported into me and did like four hits in a row, and then I somehow still defeated him. So <laughs> that works. That is the weirdest way to beat that boss, but we did it. I am so glad we didn't lose, though, because then we have to wait for the old man to respawn. So I think that's a great place to end this episode. We defeated the Queen Bee enraged at the surface. We've got our new armor and we're getting so close to the slime god fight and hard mode. Really fun. I am quite excited and if you are too be sure to like and subscribe so you can catch the next episode. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.